Hello, citizens of the future. Citizen of the future here, and welcome back. Here's a this this video is an educational research video to inspire some of you citizens to dig in a regulated rabbit hole. I do have some big content coming out that's taken me some time to put together, um, but this one I'm focusing on keywords, and this is one post that I want to show you guys that is gets buried by the algorithm. 21 people like this, and it's got keywords to the future of the digitalization transformation. Trade finance, paperless trade finance, um, and paperless trade facilitation. Um, so what I'm gonna cover here just quickly is what you can gain from researching the keywords that I put in my posts. So this I'm gonna talk about is single window systems and network trade platforms, paperless trade ecosystems. So like I've said before in some of my write-ups, some of my videos, that you shouldn't be uh, one network maximalist because it's gonna be a network of networks, a trusted network of networks that will s solve the paper problem in global trade. So what do we have in these keywords? We have Cargo X. We have, uh, which is built on Ethereum and Polygon. We have trade assets. We have trade trust. We have R3, Corda, Marco Polo, SDOCs, Wave BL, uh, XDC network. We have trade, interoperability. That means the flawless movement of value uh, frictionlessly between uh, these platforms. We have the ICC, DSI. That's the Digital Standards Initiative from the International Chamber of Commerce. We have UNCITRAL, United Nations Commission on International Trade Law. And we have MLETR, Model Law on Electronic Transferable Records. This is some of the biggest keywords that you can ever find throughout my research. I'm like, okay, hey, how am I gonna inspire people? Well, this is how I try. ISO 222, the global messaging standard that everyone's upgrading to for interoperability, faster payments, and uh, frictionless flow. BIMCO, a shipping company with the oceans and that. Um, trade and DLT. So let's just look at the photos. When you're looking at this, this is a Cargo X visualization of a single window concept, a bird's eye view. So one second here, I'm gonna pause this. So let's talk about a single window. A single window is like a single computer screen that connects all players in trade through one window. So like you got customs brokers, freight terminals, shipping agents and lines, you got governments and uh, departments, you got commercial banks, government controlling agencies, and it's all, and customs, and it's all connected through one computer screen. Uh, this was from a World Economic Forum document, uh, trade tech, um, and example of single windows, a network of networks of public and private actors. What else is in here? This is a visualization of TradeLens, which is a, a blockchain DLT platform built with IBM. And uh, I believe they're on Hyperledger and something else, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so they're building a, pay, a world of paperless trade and see how it connects all just like that, like a single window system connects all the players, banks, trade associations, authorities, governments, et cetera, et cetera. So, and here's another visual that we put together. This was a project with me and XX, the other researcher. And so this just shows a single window system connects all players, okay? And what has happened since COVID-19? The maritime supply chain digitalization, digitalization of the maritime supply chain processes. So this is huge. Trade digitalization is one of the biggest concepts in the forefront, in the forefront of the fourth industrial revolution. So what do we see here? That same single window, just in an actual real format. This is out in Egypt. Egypt is to transformed into a one integrated logistic area and central logistic hub for international trade. So that's what the single window, that's a very important concept for anyone to understand because that's where we're moving. Electronic uh, connectivity between all players and it's not with paper because paper is manual, it's expensive, uh, it's, it's again, it's got a very big carbon footprint. So here is a visual 
This was from Singapore when they launched in 2018 called Networked Trade Platforms. A NTP, which is short for Network Trade Platform, is a transformational platform which will take us from the traditional national single window, which gives traders a one-stop interface for all trade-related regulatory transactions to a one-stop interface that will enable them to interact with all business partners, stakeholders, and regulators on trade-related transactions. This will help companies raise productivity, boost competitiveness, and uncover new opportunities. Going forward, we must work towards greater connectivity, especially with our trading partners around the world. Our vision is for this to be a truly global network to enable the efficient flow of goods, services, uh, linked to a secure flow of financing facilitated by a swift exchange of data so that all parties, including regulatory and customs authorities, can work together to facilitate trade. And then this is visualization. Using a DLT platform for invoicing will then interconnect everything digitally. So, and if you guys look really closely, like I say, always pay attention to the small things in here, you can see correspondent banks could condim uh, diminish need for correspondent banking. Example, Ripple, reducing costs. So, not just digital documents, but also new uh, payment infrastructure like RippleNet, like XRP, which is a decentralized digital asset that is used for cross-border payments. There's some big things. Now, this is a map that I put logos on, so it's not, this was official. Everything else without the logos was official from Mr. Andre Kasserman as one of his educational webinars. Very smart fellow. If you're not following him, you should follow him. Um, so let me break this down. What are we looking at? Well, in trade, in global trade, there's trade originators, there's investors, there's corporates and SMEs. Um, these are the different types. So there's a corporate to investor, originator to investor, and corporate to originator. Um, there's communication infrastructures, being able to send data between players, being able to close transactions digitally, trade operations, data capture and tracking, which is an example of Intex, which is which Andre Kasterman is a board advisor for Intex. Um, so we have trade pla trading platforms. So this is for where trading platforms come in. Communication infrastructures, which would be the networks themselves to communicate, to connect. Um, so now, why did I put these logos on here? XDC network, that's a communication infrastructure. Um, Impel allows uh, ISO 222 compliant messages to be sent utilizing the XDC network. Um, Inigio, which is the digital document solution for XDC network. We have Marco Polo. We have R3 Corda. They have Contour, uh, which is a trade finance ecosystem. Uh, we have trade assets. So as you've seen here, trade assets, where is it? So that's another DLT that's private. I think it's on Hyperledger. Um, but yeah, that's another DLT platform for communication infrastructure. We have Trade Trust. Trade Trust is a framework for uh, digital trade out in Singapore. It's, it was created by the IMDA and they have, it's a multi-chain solution. So they're on Ethereum, Polygon, R3, and uh, the Hyperledger, I think it was as well. Um, and then we have Cargo X. Cargo X is strictly Polygon and Ethereum, but it's a trade, trade finance ecosystem. So these are some of the things that somebody should be, could, oh, and then I forgot up here. So Liquid X, uh, just one sec, that's just another trade platform. Trade Tech, a tokenization NFT platform um, for digital trade uh, and tokenized trade assets. We have Finian Exchange, which is an export funding platform, and we have MIDI Manager, which is another platform. So this is a breakdown of some different solutions that somebody can research. And guess what? They're not 
digital islands because they interoperate. The value can move slowly between these different uh, networks through global, common, adopted legislation and frameworks that allows a standard to be met for digital document interoperability. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this gives you some insight on what you could research and look into because, you know, there's so much information out there. And this was a topic from the World Economic Forum and the United Nations um, in 2017. You guys can look this paper up and there's also right here, uh, paperless trade. How does it impact the trade system? It transforms it. It brings trade to the 21st century because it eliminates the, the friction. It eliminates paying $50 uh, per transaction, it, it eliminates um, the headaches and it creates a trustless uh, trade system. So you can trust who you're doing trade with in the future when it's all digitalized. Um, so much information, not enough time. But if this stuff interests you, I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, check out my research at uh, the Genfinity Lighthouse Report. Uh, it's a report that I've been writing my about my research, about uh, concepts that I think it would be important for any citizen to see. So this, this one was on, this was a video that's not on my channel, it's on their channel because it's through the report. And it's about the new era of the paperless trade transformation. The first edition I wrote about the basics of global trade. And the next one uh, was about standard setting bodies who, who people should know exist because they're creating the regulations for the crypto markets. And the third one was more standard setting bodies in the digital economy agreement between the UK and Singapore. And what's that all about? The digitalization of data to move between small medium enterprises across these multinational jurisdictions. Um, so really fourth industrial revolution stuff, very important, you know, spend some, spend the hours to try and just dig and just see, you know, look at the problems with paper and trade, look at the solutions with digital documents and trade, and then you'll start seeing where we are heading. Okay, citizens, so that's it for today's video. I just wanna say, you know, come join me on Twitter, uh, leave some feedback. You know, if you start researching these keywords, you know, post that in the comments below. Uh, so you can share some information and uh, post, you know, what you like researching. And let's start getting some deep forward conversations about the transformation happening in, in the trade industry and this fourth industrial revolution. Alrighty, citizens. Well, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, leave that feedback. Citizen of the future out.